Good afternoon, my name is Florence Modipa, the lecturer in the College of Education. I'm responsible for BBT 1501, being a professional teacher. Uh, today we're going to talk about issues that usually discourage students to continue with their module and also to talk about things that they can do in order to improve on the module. The purpose of being a professional teacher is to familiarize you with the roles and responsibilities of being a professional teacher. What are the characteristics? What are the attributes of what a good teacher is? But we're not only looking into the roles and the attributes, we're only looking at going into the classroom to say, what are the things that a teacher needs to do in order to enhance teaching and learning? How do you deal with diverse learner population? And also, how do we ensure that all learners are included in the process of teaching and learning. Being a professional teacher or BBT 1501 is an online module, which is one of the signature module in the College of Education. You realize that there are two tutorial letters, which is tutorial letter 101, and the addendum to that, which is tutorial letter 001. Please read through the tutorial letters, familiarize yourself with the contents. It will give you the things that you need for the module. There are six lessons that are linked to your assignments in the module, and we urge you to read all of them, including the additional resources that are posted in the website. As you register, you will be allocated to a teaching assistant. Your teaching assistant serves as a class teacher. This person is responsible for marking your assignment, for receiving your assignment, for giving you feedback, for posting on notices that you need for the module. And we urge you to actually start with the TA anytime that you want to communicate with the BBT lecturers. We say to you, you just need to log on to, the, to, to my UNISA using your student number and the password. When it opens, you'll get the BBT 1501 main site website in the orange bar across the top of the page. On the module access, the main website will contain your announcement, the additional resources, the schedule, the statistics, and the site information. On the announcement, this is an area where all the assignments or the announcements will be posted. You will find that your TA informing you about the things that you need to, if ever there are changes on the assignments, if there are extension on the submission dates, if there is any other thing that you need to do, check on the announcements. And we urge you to at least check every second day on the announcement. Another feature that you'll find with a tool is the additional resources. You'll find the PDF file of tutorial letters and other documents provided for the module. There's also a feature called schedule. On this feature, all the assignment due dates appear there. You need to check the, the assignment date, the submission dates, and ensure that you submit on time. Do not worry about the statistics that is for us to view who's most active on the portal, and also don't worry about the site info. In terms of communication in the module, in the past, we used to have over 15,000 students in a semester. So to actually manage communication that comes to the university and to respond promptly and with informed information, students have been grouped according to the TAs, as I said earlier. So your first contact person should be your TA. All communication needs to go first to your TA by using my life UNISA email. We urge you not to use private emails, especially that when you use my life, you need an email, your student number is automatically there. If your TA cannot deal with your query, we urge you to move to contact the primary lecturer or the secondary lecturer. The secondary lecturer will respond to you, but you need to furnish us with the copy of the emails or communication 
that has previously been sent to the TA. Make sure that you include your student number, your full name and the group number in the subject line. In the past, we have had students saying to us, but I do not know the group number. When you receive a, a communication that says you have been grouped, there will be a number that ends with a capital T. That is your group number. Make sure that you memorize that number, that you provide that number every time you want to communicate, because that number will assist us in directing the communication or the query to the relevant TA. The next thing that I want us to talk about is the issue around assessment. In the tutorial letter or in the study guide, you will find that from the six lessons that are there, that are linked to assignments, the assignments that are written, the assignments that are submitted, and there are also assignments that are not submitted. So we're saying to you, all these assignments are necessary because the, those that are not submitted are called assessment, assign, assessment for learning. They help you to actually reflect on whether you have been able to read through, to comprehend, to understand the content before you write the formal assessment. So before you could do the formal assessment, the submitted assignment, please go through the assessment for learning. Do all the activities in the module because they will give you light and indication into whether you're performing well or not. And also to check in which area of the module are your strengths and which area you need assistance. This will also assist your TAs when you're querying a particular assignment or you do not understand, understand a particular topic. The assessment schedule is as follows. You will have six written assignments that you need to submit online. When we say online, we do not say by email. As a student, you have an option of submitting your assignments online. And during the submission, please make sure that you keep the feedback message that comes to you after you have submitted, because that is evident that you have actually submitted your assignment in case anything happens. The first assignment is due on the 1st of April, the last assignment is on the 4th of June, and this is in the first semester. I have consciously included first and second semester due to the nature of the extension of the semester that UNISA has introduced. And you will have the seventh formal assessment in the form of portfolio. It is your exam equivalent. You need to submit all of these assignments. If you check on the waiting column, you will realize that each assignment carries a particular weighting that actually add up to your final mark. So the six assignments that you will write during the course of the semester constitute 80% of your final mark and your portfolio carries 20%. And before we close on the assessment, welcome to the module. BBT is an exciting module and we're hoping you're going to enjoy this semester. Let's write together. Thank you.